What's your name? Guess he's a mute. My mama always says mute people would like the channel. My name is Charlie Buckets. Hi, Charlie. My mama hated that mute button. That's why she made herself a factory called Mama's Factory. Factory, they made clothes for other mamas, just like Mama. I was stuck with all the chores at my house, and I got very lonesome. So one day, I decided I might go visit Mama, and that's just what I did. Hi, Mama. Hi, Andrew. How was school? All right, I guess. Except those mean boys keep picking on me. Well, you know what I say, Andrew. Sticks don't pick, and picks won't stick. I know, Mama. I told them that. But they kept laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing. All right, Andrew, I get the point. I know, Mama. I've been trying to make new friends, and I heard there was a new girl coming. But you know what? It turned out to be a new boy. I haven't met him yet, but I hope to have a friend. But I'm going to go now, Mama. Okay, bye, Andrew. Bye, Mama. That was one of my only visits I ever saw. Mama. That was a mighty interesting story, Mr. Raleigh. I'm just sorry I can't stay for the rest. My bus is here for Louisville. Bye now. Bye, Mr. Buckets. Well, hi. What's your name? My name is Jamal Jenkins. Hi, Mr. Jenkins. You know, I was just telling Mr. Buckets about my good friend, Timmy. Timmy was one of my best and only friends. Would you like to hear about Timmy? Oh, okay. Timmy sounds nice. Timmy all started off in a little house. Hi, my name is Timmy. Who are you? My name's Andrew Bolly. Nice to meet you. Howdy. You know, I've been looking for some friends. You want to go play? Okay. Where'd you move from? Texas. That's wonderful. You know what? I know a great game we can play. What? It's called Pick the Grass. Heh <laughs> heh I don't get it. Neither do I. That's why it's such a fun game. Let's go play. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Jenkins. Jenkins. You make yourself quite an entrance. What's your name? My name's Chris Fingerly. Hi, Chris. My bus is due any minute. Hi, Chris Fingerly. May I call you Chris? Sure. Thanks. You know, I was just telling Mr. Jenkins about my friend Timmy who moved away. You know, I had a new friend named Chubba. He liked to be a superhero, so we played all kinds of games. He was my best friend. He moved from Hawaii. Really? Yeah. I moved from Hawaii, too. Ah, oh, you know, I was hoping to see him at the bus stop because he said he was going to be here. So I had a present for him. But, Mr. Chris, you can have it. Thanks. I'd love to hear about this chubba fella. Would you? Well, no problem. I remember it. It was just like yesterday. God, I wish someone would come and play with me. Well, thank you, God. What's your name? My name is Chubba. Hi, Chubba. Did you just move into that house over there? Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. I used to spend hours over at that house flipping that sign, you know. I, I remember, I remember me when it said for sale and that it was sold. And I flipped it day and night. You know what? We could be best friends now that we live so close. Well, that has a possibility. I know. What interests you, Chubba, that may be a game we could play? Well, I love playing superheroes. Me too. How about Superman? I love Superman. Yeah, wanna go play? Yeah. Superman! Wow, that Chubba fella really sounded pretty funky looking. Yeah, he was pretty funky. You know, sometimes he talks so much. 
Wait a second. Why am I going with this conversation? Would you like... You know what? You probably... I can't get into Chubba. You probably have to get a bus to catch, right? I don't want to disappoint you in the middle of the story. Well, it seems like my bus is going to be late, and I wouldn't mind hearing more of it. So you'd like to hear about Chubba? Yeah. Okay. You know, sometimes he talks so much that I had to stick my hand over his mouth. Are you stupid or something? You know what my mama says? My mama says that I'm as stupid as a stupid egg. Chubba was magnificent at being a superhero. I wish I could have been like him. He was so good at being a superhero. Super Chubba! I idled him. I mean, he was just so good. And I was pretty good, but just not as good as him. Superman! Chubba? Chubba? I think I better be going now. I pooped in my pants. I didn't see Chubba until the next day. That must have been very embarrassing, Mr. Varley. It was very embarrassing, Chris. But luckily, Chubba was such a good friend, he didn't tell anybody. And you know what was sad? When he was 15 years old, I was 15 too, he had to move to California because he had a disease that could only be cured in California. But the first day he wrote to me, he said everything was going to be all right. I didn't believe him. I got so worried, I didn't know what to do. So you know what? I did what I do best. When I got to another telephone call, I turned around and I ran right back. I love so running so much that I decided to run and run and run until I ran my whole street. to go home, which wasn't a very far walk, and that's just what I did, I went home. <laughs>